Hi guys, today is the first day of Kid News, Kids News, and today we're going to learn about ladybugs, water, aphids, and trees. First, we want to learn about water. Do any of you know what a molecule is? A molecule is a very tiny, tiny bit of everything you see. Everything you see, and even air, and wind, and everything, and the whole wide world, is made out of molecules. What are molecules made out of? Atoms. Atoms are inside molecules. There could be more than one atom inside different molecules. Now, the reason I told you this, because I'm telling you water first. What does molecules and atom have to do with water? I guess that's what you're thinking. Did you know even water has molecules and atoms? You can't even feel it. Well, you can actually, but there's a lot of them mixed together. And if you just took a little, if you took one molecule or one atom and put it in your mouth, you couldn't feel anything or taste anything. So, yeah. But, you know, so did you know what? Oxygen, I was telling you about that. Uh, and I'm going to tell you about that. Oxygen is a gas that we breathe in and we, we breathe out carbon dioxide. Did you know even gases have, um, you know, molecules and atoms. So, there is one atom, oxygen atom, inside a water molecule. And there's, hydrogen is another gas. And I do not know if it's in the air, or it might be, not, might not be. Um, I can't seem to remember right now. But hydrogen is another gas. There's two hydrogen atoms in one water molecule. So one oxygen atom in two hydrogen atom atoms in one water molecule. And so, yeah, there's millions and trillions, and you can't even see molecules. I'm just telling you, they're too tiny to even see. There's like billions, trillions, quadrillions, quadrillions, I don't know how many there are in the whole world. Um, there's a lot, though, <laughs> I just got to say. So that's what we've learned about water. Now let's move on to trees. This is the interesting part, way interesting. But you're, need, you're going to need to know about the gases. Did you know when we breathe in oxygen, we, there is a gas called carbon dioxide in the air and we breathe out that gas. And trees do exactly the same. You're thinking, how can that be? Some of my teachers or my parents may have told you. Well, trees give us oxygen when they breathe. I don't know when they breathe. I don't think so. Or they might have not told you when they breathe. Or you may have thought when they breathe. Did you know when they breathe, they do the exact same thing as us? They breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. They do. And 
that carbon dioxide it gets blown out. But here's the fun part. That oxygen that the tree has gotten, the tree has it like in its body parts. It has sort of like, sort of like a body, body parts like us. And you know that why trees are green? I mean, not, not in the fall, not in the fall, not in the winter. The leaves of the tree are green in spring, summer, you know? Um, that's because they are trying to make food for themselves. When they start to make food, that's when they let up a lot of their oxygen. And that's how we get our oxygen. That's about trees. So, I told you about trees and water. Just giving you a heads up. After Ladybugs and Aphids, we're going to have story time. So, Ladybugs are good bugs. If you have Aphids, and, and did you know Aphids are like well, insects or bugs? I don't know if they're an insect or bug. I think it's a bug. They're little green creatures that are sort of like bugs. They crawl around your plant, plants and they harm them really bad. Hey, if you have that problem, you were born a ladybug. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's what's good about them. So, we've learned about ladybugs, aphids, trees, water. It's time for story time. Now, my story is going to, I have two stories for y'all. I have a story about a polite puppy who's always really polite. And he does, and he does his manners and everything. We'll see about that in the story. At least I think that's what he does. So, there's another one about a greedy dog. He deserves a punishment. Let's see what he gets at the end. First, I'm going to read you a story called Polite Puppy. Don't worry, I'll show you the pictures of both the stories, okay? Polite Puppy says, Bow wow, how do you do? When he meets someone. And he opens doors for ladies. He says, bow wow, well, thank you, when you've given something. He says, bow wow, well, please, when he asks and when he asks for something. And when he eats his meals, he, oh, that naughty puppy, you, he has forgotten his manners. You don't sit in the dish when you eat your meals, do you? Here. There he is. He is right where my fingers are. Right there. And look, he's sitting in the dish when he's eating his bone. Isn't that funny? Now, I'm going to read you a story called The Dog and His Bone. Little dog hurried to the stream with a large juicy bone in his mouth. He wanted to eat the bone all by himself. So he ran across that log that bridged the stream. Then in the water he saw a picture of himself. In other words, a reflection of himself. But he thought it was another dog. Now I shall have two nice bones to eat the greedy little dog. He growled and snapped at the other bone. Splash! His bone fell in the water. And so did he. Now he had nothing to eat. Greedy, greedy makes a hungry puppy. Here's a picture. 
Look at that little, look at that dog with his bone. That's the, this is him. And that's the reflection of him. That's a reflection of him. Over here, that, over here. That's a reflection of him. Then he thinks this is another dog and he snaps. What do you think happens? His bone falls in water. That's why it says, greedy, greedy, makes a hungry puppy. I hope you like this kids news and see you next time. Bye.